this evening. A metro woman frustrated and asking for help. She's partially paralyzed and needs a wheelchair, but has concerns about her safety because she says parts of her apartment complex are not up to code. She tried to get help, but says she's getting the runaround. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale is looking out for her. Yes, this is absurd. It's absolutely absurd. We're just tired of having to push and push and push and fight. A crash in 2020 left Galena Grissom partially paralyzed. She now relies on a wheelchair or a cane to get around. Grissom says problems for her at the Rain Dance Apartments in Northwest Oklahoma City started last October. There's a car parked directly in front of the sidewalk where there's a curb cut. That's the only curb cut on this side of the building for me to get through. I'm having to get up out my wheelchair, fold it and walk around the car. It's it's painful. It's hard. After months of going back and forth with management, Grissom says a no parking tow away zone sign was finally installed a week or two ago. Unfortunately, the problems don't stop there. The railing that's um, in my wall for when I'm going up the stairs because it continues to fall off the wall. For the fifth time, Grissom says maintenance came to secure the railing two days ago. But it already looks like this and even fell off while we were there. The landlord is required to provide reasonable accommodations for the person with a disability so that they can enjoy their apartment just like you and I or someone without, which would include grab bar. That's reasonable. Brenda Hafer works with the state's Office of Disability Concerns. They're just, in my opinion, dragging their feet not to get this taken care of. So on Friday, she mailed a letter to the complex on Grissom's behalf. She has a right under Fair Housing Act and the ADA to do something about this. Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. Hi, Natalie, thank you. Now, the management of Raindance responded to the list of complaints, saying in part there was no record of the latest issue with the railing. It went on to say they are providing the resident with a telephone number to help facilitate further assistance. We'll keep you posted.